that's different. Yeah, I kind of wanted to check out the rest of the basement, but okay. And there's a bird up there. Dude, don't startle the bird. You did. You startled a lot of them. Dude, just befriends wolves. Don't. You're dumb. You are so dumb, Mike. Why would you try that? Our end goal is to get in there? <laughs> no, thank you. Well... I mean, I know we probably have to go into admin, but I want to see if I can just go out the front door. And there, there's something over here. Oh, it's a letter. Uh, administration notes. That's weird. They just forced them all out? Oh. That's weird. You'll need a nose peg. Those guys smell awful. Hmm. Oh, so we can actually go back outside. All right, so I just got back up from the basement. There was absolutely nothing else down there. But it looks like now we can go into the admin portion of the building. Because that's just where I want to go. A safe. Oh, someone really wanted to take a peek inside. Okay. Are we gonna be able to get in this? Probably not. No, I, I wanted to keep trying. Oh, we got it. Oh, what the hell are these? Locking in cards. I guess that could just give us, like, the names of one of the miners. But the question still remains. What would one of the miners want against, like, the Washington family? Or more specifically, these kids? I still can't figure that out. Oh, there's a camera! Oh, this looks like it would be from the uh, 1952 storyline. I believe so. Yep, broken camera. That was from the 1952 storyline. Oh, so was the letter and the clocking in cards. Hmm. Alright, well, there's really nothing else we can do besides just go straight into this room and I can hear the wolves fighting over something. Oh, the morgue. The morgue. Uh, I don't want to go to the morgue yet. So, we are going to check out some of these other rooms. Oh, this looks like an old newspaper. Huh. Intrigue on Blackwood Mountain. Hmm. Hmm. I can't tell what that first word was. It was something assaulted on the mountain. I mean, I guess we could always just look in here. Um, old newspaper. Oh, reporter assaulted on Blackwood Mountain. Hmm. This place just has a lot of bad history. Ranging from just attacks to spirits you know, bad mine shafts to killers, just everything. Alright. Oh. Oh, look at the little mouse up there. 
more documents. The initial state of the 12 miners after the collapse of the mine and their rescue. Oh, so this place... Oh, one of those guys tried to bite me. So this place, it seems like some of the patients were the miners that were involved in a cave-in in the mine. Oh, shit. The wolves sound like they're right around this corner. We're unarmed. Why would we go down here? <laughs> this makes no sense. More importantly, how have the wolves not heard me? Uh-oh. <laughs> That's bad. That's his knife. That's his knife. Oh shit. Gross. Grab it. This is ours now. Okay. Yeah, it's really gross. But at least we have protection now. Oh dear. I don't like when the wolves went quiet. Something over it. Oh, oh no, there's a curtain. Bad idea. Oh my god. A fucking torture chair. Shit. Oh. What happened here? Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna walk away from that. What awaits us? Nothing in these corners. Alright. <laughs> oh! That was a wolf. That was the shadow of a wolf. I'm just gonna go in here and hide out until the wolves are chill. Even though I don't think they'll ever be chill. Reply immediately. Reporters and other snoopers to be kept away at all cost. Gee, who wouldn't want press snooping around this paradise? Who wrote it? Well, it more importantly. Was it the weirdo psycho minor dude here? Oh, look at this skeleton. Holy shit. How have we not been caught yet? How? It's a miracle. We, it sounds like he's doing something. something in here. Oh, wait, that's the chair. Wait, could we have sat down in the chair? Seriously? Or is that something behind the chair? Here, before we go investigate the super bang bang noise, we're gonna go look at the chair again. We can actually sit in the chair. Twisted fuckers like to watch, I guess. Oh. That was it? Well, I consider this a wasted trip then. All right, we're back in the spooky hallway. I said it before and I'll say it again. I don't know what our end game is here, but I don't like it. <gasps> that's, that's an arm. Am I going to touch it? <laughs> That's my fingers. That's my fingers. Holy shit. 
what? I, do I have to cut off my own fingers? Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Amputate fingers or open the bear trap. We gotta open the bear trap. I gotta do everything I can in my power to keep my fingers. Oh. That hurt even more. That was the wrong call. I apologize. Second time's the charm or we cutting him? Damn it. Second time's the charm. I don't want to give up. I don't want to lose my fingers. We're wiser. You could do this, man. Oh, the knife broke even more. All right, slice the fingers off, dude. You gotta do it. Oh shit, 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 oh shit. Fuck! Oh god, that noise! Oh! Oh my god. That made me hurt so bad. He knew we were coming. He knew it. Well, the machete's broken. And the wolf knew we were here. Are you kidding me? Now what do we do? Shouldn't have fucking grabbed the note. Something's coming. Something's coming. This place just gets better and better. Holy shit. Strange skull, I'll say it is. Something is right behind me. Are you serious? Now I gotta find a fucking key card? Mike has been through some shit today, ladies and gentlemen. The wolf knew we were here, so where, where'd the wolf go? Oh, I can open up door A or B. I'm gonna go with B. Eh. Huh? What's in there? Is that a note? Oh, that seems like it was fresh in use. Sarah Smith? Who the fuck? Oh, this was 1952 storyline. Okay. B body was not discovered until six to eight hours after death. Sections of the intestine and kidneys were apparently eaten by the attacker. We're not dealing with a normal person. Oh. oh, this is a body. This is a body in here. Oh, fuck, sick. I saw his <gasps> Okay. Okay. There's your key card, though. I think. Okay, let's check this out. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just feel like the level of this game and the sick, like, it just got ratcheted up so quickly. I can't even speak anymore. It's just the intensity went from 0 to 100 real quick. What the hell? It's a picture of someone's circling the head. A name tag. I can't read the name. Fatal laceration to throat. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think there's anything else here. So I wonder if we didn't amputate our fingers, if the wolf would have actually gotten us. It fucking worked.
I did not expect that to work. In all my days. <laughs> The wo oh, stairs. I'm not sure how I feel about this. First off, when we cut off our fingers, we made so much noise. How did the wolf or the guy not hear us? Secondly, he must know that we're here. <laughs> wolf. Speak of the fucking devil. Get ready to press a button. Where is he going, though? Wait, 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 wait. Isn't this a quaint little psycho crib? Alright. Jeez, that wolf scared the, the shit out of me. Oh, jump scares, how I've come to know you so well. Isn't that funny? I just talked about, like, how did the wolf not hear us? There he is! <laughs> Okay, so Mike's missing his ring and his pinky finger on his left hand. Right, back in here. Oh shit, so now we can actually go into this place. Because now we have a key card. But obviously the wolves were roaming around in here before, so they're gonna come back. I mean, we've seen it through this far. Am I right? Let's go. Oh! Hi. Oh, I just kicked it. I just kicked it. Holy shit. Holy shit. That scared me so bad. It wasn't even fair, dude. So, what have we here? This is the jacket. Why? Why would you put on his jacket? Oh, come on. What are we reaching for? The light? Uh. Oh, the gun! There was a gun! I didn't even see the gun! Nice. All right. I'm happy with that. So now we have a gun and a jacket. And the wolf isn't messing with us. That's really surprising. Fucking freak. Clippings walls. Bigfoot sighting. Footprints found. Local man found dead. 14 missing in the mountains. Oh, those are the... Those are the miners. Oh, liars. They called him a liar. Or he did. American girls died. Sighting, sighting. Father died. Wh who's father? This mystery. I need to call, like, the Scooby-Doo and crew gang to come and help me solve this mystery. Because this has got it's gotten way out of hand. Okay, open this and see what we got. <gasps> bone! Get a bone. Maybe this will keep the wolves fat and happy. Yes. Do it. Alright, where's the wolf? Here, friend. Friend. I will give you a bone. Are you happy? Here. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's a, Yeah. Yeah. Dude, don't. Easy, boy. Oh. Easy. That's a good boy. That's right. 
Did we just make friends with a wolf? Oh yeah, man. That was the right decision. I made a right decision for once. Wow. That's actually pretty surprising. It actually all makes sense now, because I'm pretty sure when we saw that fortune totem, like, before we even came in here, Mike was wearing this jacket. And that's why I was like, I, I guess that's Mike. Oh, and we can't pick up another bone. Um, I'm like, I guess that's Mike, but it, it doesn't look like him with, with the jacket on. Can we go? We can't go over here, so it looks like the only way to get out of here is through that door. Hey, guy. Like that? Yeah. yeah. Everyone likes a little loving, right? Okay. So. Yeah. Good boy. Yeah. I'm really touching my luck with that. I think we got to go out the exit door that we came in, or that that he left through. Never mind. I thought that that wolf was like guarding a door, and that by giving him the bone, we could go through that door. But I guess we're just going through the exit here. Let's do this, man. Oh, why shoot it? I have to shoot this? That's gonna be so loud. Alright. As if no one heard that. <laughs> Alright. Anything else? There's a light switch. Can I turn on the light switch? <laughs> I'm pretty sure this place doesn't have any electricity, though. Alright, and we're gonna have to go down the stairs. But we might as well look around up here. Oh, yes! What are you? Are you another totem? Oh, he's a freaky looking one. He's got antlers! Okay, that was a death totem. That was Mike's death totem. So apparently, uh, he can light his lighter and everything goes boom. I can, it's too dark to even see what this is. Oh, it's a picture. The successful rescue of all 12 miners trapped in the disaster of the 5th of January, 1952. So yeah, there's multiple storylines going on in this game. There's obviously, you know, the the sequence of events that's happening while we're playing it, you know, like with the kids and stuff. There's the storyline that happened back in 1952. And then there's like the ghost storyline, like whatever happened with Jess. I, I don't know if that was this guy. I'm not convinced of it. Because if you, like, pause the video right at when she gets grabbed, like, that hand that's on her head, it looks like a spooky ghost hand. And this guy just looks like a normal creep. Oh, dear. What fresh hell is this? Could we get the wolf to come with us? Like, I understand the wolf is probably loyal to that guy. But, uh, you know, we did give the wolf a bone. Oh, you know what I just thought of that really applies? Knick-knack, paddywhack, give a dog a bone. <laughs> I'm, I'm really sorry. It's just... It helps to, like, you know, kind of tell yourself everything's going to be okay in a game like this. Even though most likely it isn't. Of course. Locked. We can climb over and not shoot the lock. It would be super loud. Why? Okay. Seriously? All right. <gasps> this is the death. This is the death totem. 